Hi guys, how you been doing? I hope you all are keep, keeping well. Um, I'm just touching base with everyone because I haven't released a video in almost a week. I've been very busy packing. I'm getting there. Um, I'm actually getting really close. I'm getting really close, so I'm going to take some time this weekend to do some videos. My plan is to do six, so we'll see where we go with that. Um, no pressure. If I don't get there, I don't. I will be starting with Aquarius because the last video I did was Capricorn. So I'll be starting with Aquarius and working through. So that's the plan this weekend, guys. I am going to release some videos for y'all and check in. Actually, literally going to be doing energy check-ins. Um, your energy, energy outside of you, what these two energies are creating, that sort of thing. Because I feel like, you know, I feel a little disconnected from you guys. So I think it's good to just sort of connect a bit again, see what's playing out with the energy around you. Mm, I thought I would make this video because I tend to ramble and go on and on about all little things going on with me kind of include you because you include me in your life when you let me read you you really do so it's only fair that I share a little bit and I thought well I'll just do this and um I won't do that at the beginning of every single reading <laughs> this weekend so yeah I'm getting pretty ready um uh, Monday I get the keys to the new place I don't officially movers don't actually come until the following Monday the 8th to take all my stuff away um, but I will be just kind of cleaning up the new place. It's not very dirty. It's been empty for a month. So it's pretty clean. But you know, you just got to go in there and you got to do your own clean. <laughs> and then you know, you feel good about it. So I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, I've been sitting here. Maybe y'all can help me with this little... A bit of a problem. Not a, well, it's a concern that I have. So many of you know that I feed the birds here. And the squirrels. And the raccoons. <laughs> And I only say that because they wreck my feet or as a little shits if I don't bring them in at night. But here I am moving like at the, I will be officially out of this place February the 12th. And it's really like the coldest time of the year in here where I am in Canada. And you know, they always say if you're going to be feeding the birds and you're going to do that in the winter, you should commit to it and not have them be dependent on it and then take it away from them. So I'm really trying to figure out what to do because I do not think the people that are coming in will be the birds. I don't think animals are their thing. So um, I'm really trying to figure out what to do. I have this idea. I have these like great big, you know, these big bags of birds you can get from Costco. So I have two of those and one of them is already open. And I, I don't even remember how big those bags are. To me, they feel like they're 20 pounds when I pick them up. I'm guessing there might be 8 to 10 pounds of birdseed left in the bag that's open. I'm sort of thinking like, because there's a wooden fence and on the other side of the fence after the yard is the green space. I'm sort of thinking of taking that bag of seeds and dumping it back there. I don't know what else to do. And it's so, they're like my little friends that, well, there's a chickadee right now on the railing. And if it's not a chickadee, there's usually juncos and the morning doves. Will come because I'll put seed on the railing, I'll put it on the bird feeders and on the tops of the fence, and it's like a little little reserve, a little sanctuary for everyone to get a meal. And it's been cold here, like this morning it was minus 16 Celsius, and there was no wind, luckily. Um, and I think down in the night it's gotten close to minus 20, so they really could use some food, right? Um, yeah, so I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I just dump the bag back there? and let them have, uh, you know, I know there's a possibility if it snows, I could also see if it snows, I could drive back here because it's only two kilometers away from my new house and I could maybe just walk back in the green space and <laughs> the snow with my feet so they can get to it. So yeah, I mean, I contemplated leaving one of my bird feeders here, but hanging it on one of the trees because it takes them it takes them about three weeks to empty one feeder in particular because it's really go good and not allowing the squirrels to like just pull it all out. But then I thought, no, nah, to do that properly, I'd need my, my 20 foot step ladder in the snow and I'd probably fall down and hurt myself. So I to do that. So yeah, I'm sort of thinking I'll just throw the seed. That bag that's open, I'll throw it back there for them. Yeah. So. That's all, honest to God, that's about it. <laughs> but packing, just been packing, packing, packing. Um, oh yes, I almost don't want to talk about it because you know when you bring it up again, then it starts happening. Knock on wood, where's the wood? The furnace and the electricity has been fine 
for like a week now. How long ago did that start happening? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. And literally, I did, I thanked the house. I did like a very, um, Marie, Marie Kondo, right? Did I get her first name right? I hope I did. Yeah, Marie Kondo, where you thank items that, you know, you no longer need and you send them off to their, their new lives. I did. I sort of did that with the house and it's been fine since then. So I think it's all good with me going now. But yeah, so that's been okay, which is good because with minus 20, you really don't want a house without heater or electricity. That's very uncomfortable. Um, yeah, there's really, um, gosh, not much going on. <laughs> not much going on. So, mm hmm. It's been a lot of days where I've been packing and I'm kind of tired of that, but I'm pretty much done. There isn't much more I can do and not be able to live in the house. So I thought I'm going to make some videos. I'm going to do something different, something that I enjoy doing, you know, so here I am going to do that today and tomorrow is my plan and release them as they are finished processing and once they're uploaded. So that's all I got to say, really. Yeah. I know usually there's more to talk about, but. There's like nothing going on. It's just my little dilemma concern about the birds. So what do you guys think? Just dump that seed back there. You know, maybe not in the great big pile, but just sort of spread it out. <laughs> but not too thin. Yeah. I'm sure they'd be fine. I'm sure there's other people in the neighborhood that have bird feeders. But you know, you can't control things outside of what you can control either. So who knows, maybe they run out of bird seed the same time I stop feeding them. <laughs> I don't know. Well, that's it. I'm sorry this was not exciting. Hey, let me pull a card. Let me pull a card for y'all. <laughs> I got them in front of me here to get ready. Um, I was pre-shuffling a little bit to get started with uh, a card. Let me pull you an energy oracle card for sticking around <laughs> my really boring update. And uh, an energy oracle card. And I'll pull you a tarot card. How's that? How's that? Yeah. There we go. All right, everybody who's coming in for just a peek and see what's going on, let's give them an energy oracle card. Let's give them, oh, I just have this bad feeling. It's going to be a card that's going to be complicated. <laughs> what do y'all get? What's the, oh, damn it, see? <laughs> Can I really just pull out one card and move on from this? I don't know. So y'all got the broken heart card. I can't just leave you like that. Is somebody out there with a broken heart? I can't just leave it. So, okay, what's at the bottom? Healer of the ages is at the bottom. So it does tell me that there's healing coming for whatever this pain is, whatever this um, broken heart, disappointment, perhaps even tears shed here with the broken heart card. All right, let's pull you out. Let's pull out three tarot cards. I just had a feeling, as soon as I started shuffling, I thought, no, it's not going to be, like, not just the healer of the ages. I feel like it's going to be something that I can't just leave out in the open. Maybe some of you are feeling a little bit. It's been a little quiet on the, uh, the tarot reader. I know, um, I mean, well, not all of them. I'm sure there's lots of them that I'm not aware of, too. I mean, I've obviously been really, really quiet. I know Sans, she's taken a well-deserved break. And many of you watch her as well. So I'm like, I'm not doing any reading. I feel so abandoned. Hey, I'm going to do some for you. Let's do three here for this broken heart. For whoever needs to hear that. Oh, are you just pulling out a whole reading on me here? My gosh. Oh, what do we have? The Magician, the Strength card, the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Page of Wands. This is going to be good. I think you're at the point of manifestate some sort of, it feels like more like a mental, emotional manifestation going on. Um, the whole process is really meant to strengthen even your ability to do that, to manifest, to recognize when is the right time to take what type of action in your life. There's um, a lot of passion and like emotion, feelings, 
right after your man you're strengthening your manifestation ability so you start did i i can't even remember if i should i'm so out of practice maybe this is for me to get to practice again the magician and the strength card and then you go into the knight of wands and the knight of cups i mean that's really nice that's passion desire excitement love feelings happiness joy it's sort of the whole shebang and then you end up with the page of wands now what's interesting is there's going to be some perhaps some sort of a little detour when this energy comes in for you there might be a little tiny detour in some way with this page of wands because he's standing in a trail and you can see the trail kind of goes this way and his body is facing that way but his head is looking towards the cat oh, a, this reminds me of gemini follow the orange kitty cat the orange kitty cat is trying to take you somewhere so you have the page of swords at the bottom it's a little bit like because the sword is so tiny and the books, dropping the books, it's like a backpack, a school bag with a whole bunch of books that have come out and a scroll. The broom is on the floor, so the travel, travel towards even what you would consider, like this, I mean looking at this on the ground, it's, and it's a kid, it's almost like a kid getting ready to go to school, taking, getting on their broom, going to Hogwarts for the day, but stopping that for some reason, maybe because of COVID, stopping that, so stopping a cease and desist almost of how you would regularly find information or where you would go to find information because his plan has changed this kid has decided no there's something here this holding up their own sword like trying to okay maybe there's a reason i'm not doing a lot of readings maybe there's a reason sam isn't doing reading. like maybe there's a reason some of us have pulled back a we've got stuff we need to do and we need to have time also to kind of heal our own energies and whatever we need to do right i mean we're just regular people too but everything happens i would say everything happens for a reason that's so cliche but when something happens to those that are outside of you that affect you as well it's kind of like the universe's way of like taking the opportunity for you to grow and develop something so this could be about you know what maybe yeah maybe you don't have access to my readings much anymore or you don't have access to something that you typically would and you would be on your way to that but you've had to drop it and focus on your truth and clarity and your own intuition here is what this this feels like to me is kind of what's going on with these two cards but it's and with the strength card it is Oh, she's cre is she creating that tornado or is she simmering it down? I want to uh, say, say that she's calming the tornado down. Energy has to calm down. Energy needs to calm down. Your process is helping that happen. The processes around and outside of you are helping that happen. I'm, it's really weird. Like I'm hearing sort of like the fact that I'm not doing many readings is somehow allowing that to happen for you too and then you get the knight of wands and cups and the page of wands i mean it's really really good it's nice i love it it's excitement it's um adventure it's love and joy and healing and happiness the broken heart the broken heart here and then look at all the heart bubbles like these are fun and they're light and they float like if your heart feels heavy this is the energy of of an uplifted heart like a lightheartedness that comes in and then i feel an adventure a slight detour in some way that can be kind of exciting if you're willing to take it all right okay that's <laughs> i'm gonna stop and if you're worried that I won't get to your read, to, yeah, because I said six, I'll do, I'm going to try to do six signs. Um, but I encourage you too to watch for your sun, moon, and rising, and even your Venus. House placements too, I'm finding are really interesting for myself. Um, like if, if you don't have anything like sun, moon, rising in, um, Aries or Taurus or Gemini or Pisces you could see like um so Aries would be the first house right so what what if you look at your chart you can get that done online you can see um 
what is in, what planetary energies are in those house placements for you. Um, and you say, oh, well, Gemini is in my first house. Well, then you can take a look at Gemini and um, see how that brings. <laughs> Too deep in I need to save my energy and my intuition for the reading. So there you go. So that's what that is. So by the time you're watching this, um, yeah, I, I will have already been recording and starting to uh, process the ones that I do today. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Until next time. And be gentle with yourselves. Bye.